Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's meeting. The agenda of today's meeting is the future of mathematics. Lots of student questions have been raised about the usability of mathematics in real life. Today, we've come to rectify that situation. Consider X as a maths topic. And given that X is not important, today's meeting will discuss how to find X. According to a student survey, lots of students have complained about the complexity of probability. So we've considered kicking him out of this year's study design. Yeah, that seems correct. Problem solved. Yeah, yeah, let's kick out probability. Meeting over, let's go. But, but I'm uncertain whether that will be a good idea. In fact, I'm most likely the most commonly used knowledge in the society. Given that you guys think probability is not important for the future, let me give you a glimpse of the sample space of the usage of probability. A very important field for me is in the ATAR calculation. The SAC results of students are represented on a normal distribution function with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 7. This provides a nice breakup of 68, 95, and 99.7 percent. Examiners often use this result to track the scores of students and make sure that they fit this bell curve. And that is why removing probability is a problem rather than a solution. Hmm. I guess your proof is accurate probability. Then let's kick out imaginary numbers. Any objections? No, no problem. Wait, wait, hold on. You certainly cannot imagine her without complex numbers. I may not be used directly in many fields, but complex calculations are involved in areas such as three-phase powers, which uses vectors. Calculating a metal deformation, I made easier through the utilization of the complex plane. Now I can go into all these equations, but we'll need more than five minutes. So in short, I'm a very useful and important tool to make calculations easier. Unlike, say, calculus, what has he done? Excuse me, but my work is implicit in our world. It's used in engineering, physics, and wherever rates are concerned. And since you seem so definite about my purpose, let me differentiate to you the use of calculus in astronomy. To find the velocity of a rocket, we can use Newton's second law, F equals ma. F equates to thrust minus gravity, which equals to ma. And since the mass is changing of the rocket as the fuel is burnt, we define this function as mt. Now the equation becomes thrust minus mt times by gravity equates to mt times by the change in velocity over change in time. And we see the graph to be an exponential increase. This gives us more information on the speed of the rocket. Yeah, we definitely need calculus. There's going to be more of the launching in the future. <laughs> I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> it's too complicated for him. Yeah, and don't think we need some basic maths for our future. Basic? Finance isn't basic. If it wasn't for finance, the whole global economy would collapse. Seems to cheat. Come on, be realistic, yeah? Okay. okay, fine. Maybe not the world economy, but you get the point. Research has shown that the most successful investors have a financial knowledge. Even companies like Google and Microsoft won't be able to function if it wasn't for an accountant. And if you want to find the interest paid or tax deducted, you can use the formula I equals PRT over 100. Use of this knowledge can be used to plot graphs, and these graphs can predict future losses or gains. Hmm. So, who's next? Trick. We haven't heard from you yet. Trick. 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 Yeah? Me. Well, you guys certainly cannot move me. You guys may not know this, but apart from finding the heights of buildings and mountains, I'm also used in the gaming industry. Game developers often use trick identities to formulate interactions between objects. For example, collision between objects and angle use formulas such as these. To rotate an object and move it in a parabolic path, formulas such as these are used. To find the velocity at which an object is travelling along a curve, formulas such as these are used. You see, I'm used wherever triangles are concerned. Hmm. Seems like, it seems like we can't kick you out then. Wait, wait, then who do we kick out? Our future is based on our present. And our present needs maths. So I guess in this situation, our x is undefined. Hmm. Wait, 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 what does that mean? It means no one's getting kicked out. 